Oh, hey. Jordan Panasevich with Jorpan Tech, and I'm back with another application demonstration. Uh, today we'll be looking into flashers, a fairly simple React application for flashcards. I'm a huge advocate of lifelong learning, which is part of why I got into coding, so I wanted to build an application that would help myself and others continue to study and learn. So you can see on the left side, we've got our decks over here. We've got one deck already loaded up, and I'm not sure if this is about math or magic. I don't know what Hooligan made this, but let's check it out here. And as we open up this deck, we can see it is about math. I'm fairly confident I know the answer in this, but just a quick sanity check, we can flip back and forth over here. And I definitely did know that, so I'm gonna mark this as I know it, which will prevent this card from being shown to us in the future. As we scroll through these, we can see the questions, we can flip to the backs, and um, if we come across a certain question that we certainly don't know the answer to, obviously we wanna learn that answer, and if we mark I don't know it, it'll prioritize this card to show it more frequently in the future as we're studying this deck. Uh, so let's actually go ahead and make a new deck over here. We just click the title area to name the deck, and we'll do uh, JavaScript Array Methods. Now we have two decks here, we'll add cards, and we obviously don't have anything in here yet. Uh, first thing, when we open up a new card, we'll have to edit it. So let's do add item to end of array, and that's going to be our dot push method. Uh, if you wanted to get Jeopardy style with it, you could switch these back and forth, but we'll just keep it normal for now. Save this, now we have one card in our deck. Obviously we could add as many as we want, but let's just keep it there for now. And as you can see, we've still got our two decks. We'll open this one up, and again, we'll flip it back and forth. We can mark it as known or not. Um, one last cool thing about this is it is uh, entirely front end. There's no back end at all. It's built in React, but we do use local storage to store this data. So even if you refresh or close the tab and reopen it, you'll still have all your cards and all your decks available to you. So uh, pretty handy uh, for a front end application. I was excited about this and yeah, I'll continue to use this myself to keep studying some things. I hope that you guys will find it handy as well. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.